flight members, Philip Bead here and welcome to this week's tip of the week. Uh, just going to do a little bit of troubleshooting here. Here on number four, in one of the smelliest areas of the golf course, short right, where you're left with that chip into the grain. And for those that aren't aware of what grain is, it's where the leaf grows towards you. And when you attempt to pitch it, the club gets caught in the grass because the grass is growing towards you. And you're going to normally select a sand iron here and that leading edge gets very sharp. When you're hitting into the grain, it's very difficult to let the club sweep the turf or strike the match as I refer to it. So it's very easy to get the club caught. So I've got another option here. We're going to use a hybrid or a five wood. I don't have a hybrid, so I've got my five wood here. And we basically just play it like a putt. You can put it in any old lie. What we're going to do is we're going to grip down the handle, nearly on the shaft here, weight forward, ball back half, hand slightly ahead of the ball. And we're just going to sort of putt it with very minimal wrist. And what happens is the width of the sole slides under the ball. It doesn't get caught. The leading edge is bevel. It's, okay, it's not sharp like the sand iron. So if we just have a go here, rent it like a putt, and then we just roll it up there to three, four feet. Not a bad result. Let's have another go here. Once again, ball back half the stance, weight forward, hands forward, nearly gripping it down on the steel. And again, just letting the club tap it and roll up to the flag. But it's a really good option. And if you uh, you just need to experiment, other holes, anywhere pin high on number seven, where you've got that bare lie, long on number eight, same thing, great club hybrid or five wood out of those very tight lies that are often into the grain. So thanks for tuning into this week's tip of the week.